Hello and welcome to my 12th video introducing my new book Debugging Shakespeare. In the last video we looked further into the origin of the carved dodo image at St Mary's Church Nantwich and how Joris Hofnagel and his son might really have been John Speed, the well-known cartographer. Now we're going to focus on Sir John Croke, an alleged speaker of the House of Commons in 1601, in between Sir Edward Coke and Sir Ranulf Crewe, an MP for Saltash. The Bard obviously had a sense of humour by alluding to Frog Row, Nantwich, by naming this alias Sir John Croke. Allegedly he prohibited the wearing of spurs, which alludes to at least three of his other aliases, Sir Thomas Aldersay of Spurstow, Sir Henry Fanshawe, who inherited Ware Park and bought Shocklatch Church, and William Spurstow, a director of the East India Company. The wealthy William Spurstow was most likely an alias of Edmund Wright, who built Wright's almshouses in Nantwich and was Lord Mayor of London in 1640. He was also president of St Thomas's Hospital, who owned the Bewick Farm Estate in Aldborough, Holderness, Yorkshire. Edmund Wright was Sheriff of London in 1629 and rebuilt the once moated Swackley's House as a mansion in 1638. I have used my 1627 vellum map of Bewick Farm, once owned by the Dukes of Almarley, who were also Earls of Devonshire and the Isle of Wight, as a treasure map to identify about 40 high-profile individuals in the Elizabethan period. Thank you for watching. There will be many more videos like this in the near future. The only way to get a full appreciation of who the Bard really was is to buy my book. It is available only on Shopify. Please scan the QR code shown with your mobile and you will have a direct link to Shopify. Thank you.